Good morning, folks. For the last few days, we've been in what might be the calm before the storm. Apart from an earth spot quake, seismicity is depressed. Despite many sunspots on the disk, we've seen only minor surface surging without ejecta. Could be changing soon, but first we're seeing a decrease in solar wind speed in yellow. This drop in heliospheric pressure is allowing some galactic cosmic rays to return to Earth, both trending up on Bartol. As mentioned, the sunspots on the disk are numerous, but only these two here are worth analyzing. Up north, we've got a tiny gamma class which has faded from last night. Meanwhile, down south, we may yet see magnetic mixing in this big group. Of course, the sunspots are only half the story on our star. The big southern coronal hole, negatively polarized, may have more to it than meets the eye. Iswa and Gong both show northern extensions, not just to the equator, but well north of that as well. Still has a ton of power. We cannot see much aside from the main bulge down south in 211 angstroms. That coronal hole adds to the earthquake watch, which should begin before the solar flaring uptick because Mercury won't conjoin the sun for a few more days now. Using the JPL orbital diagram, we see the inner planets there. Ceres will also be in the mix, conjoining within 24 hours of the main alignment. Got some space news from Japan, not to be outdone by Rosetta. This morning they launched a craft to not only make contact with an asteroid, but return a sample. We'll keep an eye on that for development. If you remember the Sentinel examination of the Napa Valley quake from months ago, well it has been used once more, this time on the Fogo volcano which began erupting recently off the coast of Africa. I've also got some shots of major ice buildup in Budapest. Trust me, Hungary, we sympathize across the pond. I'm zooming in on the West Pacific. We've got a super typhoon building headed right at the Philippines. The storm is coming together very quickly since the Earth spot rumble yesterday morning. Joint Typhoon Warning Center has the expected track. In the U.S., the top story right now is the big low at the coastline of California. We have a converging air mass in the east as well, as different air meets to work out their differences and head north. You can see how the satellite images follow those flows we just saw. And our watches, once more, stretch from coast to coast. Don't get caught off guard. In Europe, just look at how the northern low bows over to converge at the coastlines in the north. Mediterranean system remains as well. The strong cloud line up north will be the worst weather maker compared to the lingering southern Europe threat. Top watch down under stems from this convergence here going from the southeast back diagonally up through the country. Should make its way over to New Zealand as well by tomorrow night. We've got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.